Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009 I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe. And you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. She's a dancer, a romancer. I'm a Capricorn and she's a Cancer. <laughs> Just an old kiss song that came to mind. Speaking of Cancer, we're now looking at the um, 2021 months by months full year energy reading. Hello Cancerians. Let's look at your 2021 months by months. Here we go. Let's start obviously <laughs> with January 2021. Let's see what the guides have got for you. Okay. <clears throat> the energy for Cancerians in January 2021 is not low at all but it's also not going to be the highest if that makes sense because what the guides are saying to you is in january what will happen is or what the guides attempt to do for you is to crack you wide open will give you um, a, a much much more awareness a much clearer way of seeing things and when you crack things open you basically look around and um, assess your life and you may not like everything you find and all the guides are saying is there's a reason why it's important to look at your life so you can sort out what is and what isn't working. That's the only job you have in, in January and um, so basically the, the guides are saying this to you. You got, you got the love from the guides, from your, from your guides. <coughs> And they look after you, but they're urging you um, because you will feel, whoa, what's going on? Um, so they're asking you to really look into all your relationships, be they private, personal or work-related. Just look into everything um, and figure out where you feel hmm, not appreciated and where you feel things are off because that's the way to deal with them, right? So that was your, your January 2021. Let's go into February. Oh, we have quite a lot of cards here. <laughs> okay, now. That makes a lot of sense because in February, what they're saying you after you <laughs> assessed your life in January and looked into what actually is your life, what they're saying to you, this will very likely rock your boat a little. And it doesn't have to necessarily rock your boat in a bad way, but it will leave you with, whoa, okay, I have to make, and I had to make changes because your February is saying to you, because you made changes, you can now forge a new path 
and they're asking you to not focus on tiny little things they're asking you to to say once you are or once you go on a new journey you might as well dream big and look into things that you haven't done or maybe that you that you haven't explored for whatever purpose and go there but always a but isn't it <laughs> february 2021 for cancerians they're asking you to take baby steps right yes they're asking you to to look at your life in january then in february because you assessed it to restart your life but don't rush anything take baby steps right the world will still be there tomorrow and that's what they're saying to you is it's just you know um have this big picture thinking about saying okay where, where do i really want to go and manifest okay okay <coughs> That was February for uh, Cancerian going into March. So you cannot really see before I even go into March that 2021 for Cancerians is about personal growth, is about sorting out and sourcing out what's going on in my life and how do I actually want to live it. That makes sense. So in March, what the guides are saying to you is all the things that you have now looked at, um, some of them are quite challenging, I suppose, um, that is what the guides give me. And what they're saying is one of the more personal issues that you, that you have to deal with and had to deal with in March will basically come to a conclusion. So that's all, that's all good. Something will be resolved. Um, the feeling that I get is that um, in March at least, uh, Cancerians can get a bit annoyed and sometimes your your pride can get in the way and they're asking you to deal with everything a little bit detached, right? Don't get, even though it is personal, obviously, don't get involved too personally because then you lose your cool and you lose your objective. Um, and that's all they're saying to you. And this is the most important message here for March uh, for Cancerians. One of the big issues that you have personally, a, a solution will be found and it's coming to a conclusion, which means it's off the table, right? So, all good so far for a, a year about growth, as you know, every time you grow, you hurt a little. So that's nothing new, right? And here is what the guides are saying to you in April. Okay, interesting, sometimes the guides change topic so they said okay well, that's the first part of, of, of your of, of the year and then they haven't done that yet they're still on about growing so they will be yeah it is just the way they, they talk they will be relentless in asking you to look at things and what they're saying to you in in april because you have a newfound sense of identity if that's the word you will be able to sort of lift the whale in um, in your life and realize that's what ha that's what has happened and that's what 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 happened and so you have a much better clarity and the problem that this presents you with is that all of a sudden you find okay I let go of a lot of stuff and you stare into that void that is now there and don't quite know what to do with it. <laughs> so you will be, in inverted brackets, because you have free will, you could, you could decide against it. <coughs> or another not so good trait of Cancerians is that you, you make yourself so busy that none of the things the guys just said make any sense to you. You're just doing your life, you're not paying attention. And they're asking you in April to let this happen. Look at the void and just decide I feel a bit empty, right? And I'm filling it with new memories, right? And memories, you decide in a way um, if you start memories of negatively or positively. So they're asking you to have high energy. And also remember that the void that you feel is necessary because you had to let things go. And judging by the energy of April, you had to probably change, tweak, let go of quite a lot of things, hence when you take a breather in April, um, you will notice that, 
okay but you're not lost you're just um, lifting the veil if that makes sense to see what's actually going on um, and that's that okay now let's have a look at May May 2021 for for Cancerians in May it's important see this is how this works we all, all we ever talked about so far is 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 you looking at things getting rid of things that don't work and obviously now when when it's gone it started obviously with April with the void <coughs> now is the time you heal again and in May that's what they're saying to you May is literally for you Cancerians a time of healing that's all it is um, it's a time for healing where nothing else should matter so um, make sure you have enough me time it would be the, uh, a good month if you have accumulated holidays um, just to take some days off if that makes sense and then when you take the days off uh, don't sit in front of the the TV or whatever uh, um, you know the, actually what I'm getting for for May is and obviously I don't know what the weather will, will be like is is to not even inside and enjoy a book but be out in nature if that makes sense because it's time to sort of breathe out let go of of the remnants of that um, well rather at times painful uh, growth that you had to go through at the beginning of the year and so nature is a big ally and that's all they're saying so um, you can't get away from it if that makes sense because in May it is the time for healing so <clears throat> um, don't ignore it if that makes sense because that's the other thing that I'm getting here energetically for, for Cancerians that sometimes you know there's something that you ought to look at and then um, it's either go not going fast enough, it makes no sense to you initially <laughs> or you're just busy with other things and all the guides are saying is May is your time to allow for healing, okay? Going into June 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Cancerians, Cancer. See, June is much better. Even though May was not designed to be bad, it's just a time where, because you, you sit with yourself and you do, you are in nature, sometimes you overthink. Anyway, in June, things are really on the up, energy will be much higher, than in the first couple of months for Cancerians. And all they're saying is, now is the time, June 2021, is the time to express yourself. This is what I'm gonna do, this is what I want, la, 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 you know, high action. <coughs> so expressing yourself is important. And also, if new opportunities come your way or anything takes your fancy, like, like I'm gonna look at this, jump right in. Don't question it. Don't think about the past, oh, I've seen this before, so it has to end like this, because you're a different person now. Even if you see traits that you normally would struggle with, you will now deal differently with them. So all the guys are saying is jump right in whatever opportunity presents itself to you. My feeling is that this is not so much about relationships here. I have the feeling that some of you Cancerians <coughs> on the whole feel a bit trapped. Even though you might have a nice home and um, it is your safe haven, you still don't feel all that home there. And all I'm getting is that um, this June is also the time to, to say, yeah, maybe, maybe the new opportunities that, that, that appear, that come, um, mean a, a change of location and a real start over. Right. So I know this won't apply to, to all Cancerians, but what I'm hearing is for you to not fight it. Right? You can make your home wherever you go. And I know that because I've been living abroad for 20 years and I lived in so many places. I've been living in the, in the UK for 10 years and I, and I literally and, and, and really made this my home and I love every minute, if that makes sense. And um, so all I'm saying is from, from my own experience, um, I know that you could move 2,000 kilometers away or 1,800 miles away and, and make new friends and start a new life and, and do all the things you, you came here to do. So June, 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 June is the month for you to not be afraid, just jump right in. Going into, into July, 
The other thing that is, uh, before we go into July, are we going into July eventually? <laughs> With regards to June, is it June? There is an album that they show me by a, by um, from a guy from the band Lamb, uh, you know, the Manchester-based electronic. Based. Anyway, he, this this gentleman has a solo album, and they're showing me the album cover because of the title. And what the title is called, Jump and Net Will Appear. So that's, that's what they show me, which means they're asking you to jump right in in June and just go for it. And when you do something unexpected, you say, okay, I'm, I'm trusting this. If there is a safety net that you need, it will be provided by the universe. Quite nice, right? <clears throat> Finally. We're going into July. We're looking at the um, um, star sign of, of uh, Cancer, Cancerians. Okay, in July, it's time for really self-reflection again. Because again, this is your year of growth and therefore it's also your year where it makes sense. Because you remember the early months of the year, it's about letting stuff go. And in July, they're asking you to reflect on you if you always done the right thing and what they're saying to you is they're not expecting you to make contact with, with with people of the past or situations of the past but you can still in your own space say acknowledge where you caused pain where your actions weren't so great and just say i'm sorry and it will travel there and people will probably, in a way, accept an apology that they never got from you personally, but you're saying it. Right? So they're asking you in July to do nothing more than occasionally think back about situations that you actually will find painful because you were in them. And maybe remember that you now have a different outlook. You are, as, as is inevitable, a new person. We all grow and eventually we look back on three years, the last three years or whatever, or four years, whatever, whatever it is for you. And then say like, okay, I was a real dickhead. <laughs> I'm not saying you were. All I'm saying is you look back on situations where all of a sudden you see that um, not everything you did was great. And all the guides are saying is call yourself on that crap that is still in your consciousness and where you, where you feel this could be karma. <laughs> right? <coughs> And simply apologize to the situations that were then prominent and just say if you feel it, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry. It just, it's, it's, it's soul freeing, if that makes sense, uh, because you, um, you, 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 you're writing some past wrongs and it allows you therefore to uproot. You know, you're, you're, you're freer now. So again, it's about moving on. So I'm getting this wrong this year. For Cancerians that there will be, um, when I say will be, you have free will, but the feeling is that some of you Cancerians are asked to look into opportunities further afield, right? So that was July, going into August 2021. Here we go, let's see what we got. Yeah, <laughs> we just talked about it, didn't we? <laughs> August. All you got is a one-liner. It's time to take action. So take action. Kick ass. Go for your dreams. And chase people. When you feel, oh, you know, they said, oh, yeah, we're going to look into this for you. Well, look into it for me. Right? It doesn't matter if it is August. You know, um, oh, the kids are off school. I don't care. You promised me to look into this. Look into this. <laughs> if that makes sense. So they're asking you to, to, <clears throat> to hold people to their promises. You know, if they say, if anyone uh, offered you to look into things for you, then um, in August you can chase them. <laughs> but because your one-liner is, it is time to take action. Um, also in, in, in August there's the new moon in Aries, which, which uh, new moons are always new beginnings. It's a new moon in Aries. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is how old I am. New moon on Monday by Loren Loren from the early 80s when I was young. <laughs> anyway, why are we talking about age? Here we are. What the guides are saying to you in August is to, to not block anything, go forward, but also 
if anyone promised you help in any area, that's the way, and that's the month, August, where you tell them to um to to get this to get this sorted. And also, I just saw that another card was underneath the card that says "Take Time to Action." And here you can see it. It's my Monology deck, and look what it does. Prosperity lies ahead. So you call in your favors. You you take action, and prosperity lies ahead which means everything will work it's just important that you're not slowing down in august <clears throat> and really go for it so let's look at september 2021 here we go <clears throat> september bless him and bless you <laughs> With all the action, with all the growth that 2021 holds for you, because make no mistake about it, the whole energy of 2021 for Cancerians is to grow, to let go of stuff that sits in your soul that doesn't suit you, um, time to let go, time to own up to the things you didn't, you didn't do right, where you didn't help a situation or maybe hindered it, all that kind of stuff <clears throat> is happening for you. And I have to say it's for you, because even though when it feels difficult, um, it's done for you to have a better life. And in September, <clears throat> after kicking ass in, in August, what they're saying is, remember, you are a child of the cosmos, cosmos because we're all from the stars. <clears throat> and because you are a child of the cosmos, they refer to humans, <laughs> us here, as the golden children. So... In other words, not boring, I'm not going to bore you with, with terminology. What the guides are saying to you for September is to make friends with your inner child. Have a lot of fun time, play time, um, reconnect to your younger self. The easiest way is to just uh, listen to songs from back in the day that meant something to you. right? Or maybe even um, find a toy that you played with some 30 years ago. And, and put it on a shelf. It reminds you of your past. It's not a bad thing. So September is the time for you to make friends again with your younger self, which also means if there's any trigger points still, they will come out. <clears throat> that was September going into October 2021. Star sign of Cancerian. Okay. <laughs> October. In, in many ways, the answers you are seeking are actually coming. So you, you did all the work uh, for the year, looked into um, your, um, your relationship with your younger self in September. And in October, you will get some answers to why situations were the way they were. And yet, they're still asking you to keep going on living your life. And your commitment is actually being tested. So if you do things half-assed, um, the guides will tell you that, remind you of that, and will constantly make you look like, remember, you wanted to achieve this by now, achieve it now. So you will, therefore, even feel restless in October. And all the guides are saying is, well, if you feel restless, maybe you ought to stick to your plan and um, put things in order and take action again. Um, to, to let your dream come true. And again, I'm getting for Cancerians that by October, some of you will have moved. So don't fight moving in, uh, this year. That was October. Going into November. In November, the guides are all around you. They're on your side. All good. It's a very easy message for November because what they're saying to you, you are, again, we had that the month earlier, you are a child of the cosmos. And what they're saying to you is because you're by default spiritual, you just have a body, if that makes sense. So you, 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 you chose to be here and we're all to a certain extent um, held back by our physical appearance if that makes sense physical physicality i think that's the word and all the guides are saying is in november just 
rekindle your spirituality. You are a spiritual being. So if you have been, so if you were fed up with spiritual spirituality, rituals, meditation, people who you know you think are not really spiritual but pretend they are, all that kind of stuff, it has got nothing to do with you. All the guides are saying is if you if you're fed up, the energy goes low. You are a spiritual being, and in November they're asking you to rekindle your spiritual energy because that's who you truly are, right? So again, it's more growth, it's more soul searching. And then let's look at the last months of the year 2021. Let's have a look what we got for Cancerians in December. Right, <clears throat> short and sweet, really short and sweet. In December, all they're saying to you is, you have had, by all, by all, uh, appearances <laughs> for all intents and purposes you had a challenging year 2021 feels challenging um, for cancerians and in december all they're saying to you is have faith in your dreams right don't forget to trust that there is purpose in your life and that you're going somewhere and that the guides are looking after you. So in December, take some me time, enjoy the Christmassy spirit, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Do that in December, but have faith in your dreams. Life is good, okay? So that was the whole year, months by months. Um, I just want to say that remember, uh, it is a rundown. <clears throat> it is not super specific. Um, and you might want to subscribe because, um, like I said, that I, I, I did that yearly thing for all star signs <coughs> as a once off. I will not do that next year, it's too much work <laughs> because also I'm busy with the things I'm going to mention now. Remember, oftentimes I do these readings weekly, and because they're weekly or bi-weekly, whichever, however, even, you know, or, or, or maybe it's just every fortnight. The point I'm making is I do these readings more in-depth, um, on a more regular basis, sometimes mid-months, or maybe sometimes I do four in a month, depends on how busy I am, if that makes sense. And all the guides are saying is um, there's more guidance if you want it, even in this, <clears throat> in my little... Um, my little videos, my little way of giving back for the awesome life I, I can live, you know, being, being, being a healer. And all the guides are saying is in December 2021, have faith in your dreams, life is good. Okie dokie, thank you so much. See you soon.